doing something I have not done for a very long time. I haven't done a scrapbook page um, that I've recorded in a long time and I haven't done something that I actually um, went out and bought a collection for and um, I was at Joanne last weekend and I bought this um, collection uh, from One Canoe 2 which I love their designs and uh, it's it's American Crafts but um, it was sort of fallish and I mean it may not be current I, I don't even care I, I just really wanted to um, do something that I hadn't done in a while which was to buy a pack of paper and a collection from something and put it together with a um, you know several uh, pictures from a trip or something current that I could um, put all together and I haven't done that in so long and that's really my first love from crafting so I really wanted to get back to that and I thought this was a beautiful collection I love this is what really um, drew me to it was this beautiful sort of dark emerald um, hexagon pattern that's got like a gold foiling to it because we've got a lot of that in our new house. Um, we just moved in about three months ago and that's been a huge change in our lives and that's kind of what this is all about so I thought it would be the perfect thing for that. I bought the um, coordinating die cut shapes that goes with this. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of, of other things that went with it, but I bought those and I've kind of been through those and sifted through the things that I thought I would like. So I put them in this little jar and there's a bunch of die cut um, florals and some journaling sort of, you know, spots and, and uh, tags and things like that. And I've also pulled the new um, Nouveau Glacier Pastes that I have not used yet. Um, I thought I would use those as a background kind of to tie things together. This is the, um, this is called Golden Era in the gold color. And I don't, I, I mean, I honestly, I, I've never used these. I don't know what they're like. I know they're a little bit, I mean, they're different from like the... Um, embossing, you know, sort of paste. They're different from the. They're different from a lot of different things, but um, I thought that it would be fun to use that in a different way, or to use something, some other sort of mixed media on the background behind the majority of this. So what I wanted to do was have a piece of white cardstock as a background. Have my photos and then have the um you know use pieces from this collection so i've got a piece of white cardstock here these are two photos from a trip that i took um with my mother uh for her 80th birthday and we went to new york city and we went to the opera and so i thought um it would be great to maybe create a little small book for her for Christmas. That's kind of my idea. Um, to keep it, you know, secret, which probably won't happen. Or more likely to um, create a few pages that I can, um, can share with her or something like that. So um, my idea is to use some of these die cuts and the paper that's involved with this and possibly bring in some of this new Nouveau Glacier Paste. I've also got some just uh, Liquitex Gold ink. I've got some other watercolors and different things that I might, you know, use to kind of use as a background. And I'm just going to um, play and have some fun. Um and uh, enjoy making a scrapbook page, which I have not done for a while. So um, I'm just going to let it go, see how it works out, and we will see what turns out. Righty, I am going to try to talk through most of this, although I have a little bit of a scratchy throat, so um, 
I'm going to use that main piece that I talked about. That's this green foiled um, sort of just hexagon, like overlaying hexagon pattern. Um, and like I said, we have a uh, we have a wall covering. It's like a wall mural that we did in our dining room in our new house. And it looks uh, very similar to this, except it's sort of like black to white ombre and fades up. It's really cool. And um, anyway, I thought this would be kind of nice. And I like the flowers and kind of that whole um, theme with this uh, night at the opera. Um, so I'm just going to go through all of these little pieces that I kind of pulled out that I thought fit and just try to arrange the two of them on a um, on the page. And I decided to just have that one pattern piece down the middle and then and my photo stacked and then, um, you know, probably just tuck a lot of those little die cuts in here and there around the sides and some journaling spots and, um, you know, something pretty loose and quick. Uh, the bottom picture is a selfie that we took in front of the big fountain, which we didn't get really much of the fountain in, and because I'm short armed. And the second photo at the top there is actually a collage thing that I had done for um, Instagram. And it's got the outside of the mat and one of the, the big chandeliers that are inside the foyer, which are truly just the most stunning thing. And... Um, some of the steps there and the little light sort of chandelier that is in the hall outside of all of the boxes. Um, so that's kind of, uh, I just took a, little, took, took a little picture there with my phone once I'd kind of arranged it how I thought it might work. All right, I'm gonna pull all that off to the side and now I'm going to take this glacier paste um, and I've got these two colors. And I thought the red kind of, um, it was a nice, sort of mix between the pink that you know and also that red that's in part of that um photograph and it's because it's kind of um like a like a warm red kind of a pinky corally red and um it's the texture is it's not like the embellishment mousse which is thicker and like i said this was the first time i had used it so um it was fun to work with and it's very um it's a lot thinner and it spreads um really evenly the only thing that i did notice was that it um it like a lot of the glitter did come off until i think it got really dry i'm not sure i actually got it onto my watch band and i could not get it off unless until i used some mr clean and kind of scraped it off all right so i just spread um a bunch of the gold there uh, all over the background with, and I'm using the um, Nouveau little mini spatulas. And then I just did a little piece of the red on the right bottom side. I wanted to use a little bit on that side to kind of contrast and draw your eye down towards that um, from that photograph piece part, the red. Um, and I didn't want too much of that to uh, um, take it over. So that's kind of what I was thinking when I was putting the paste on there. It's fun. I mean, I can't wait to see. Uh, I got it a bunch of other colors, so I'm, I'm interested to see what it'll be like with water or if you could paint with it. Um, so, uh, and it surely is sparkly and pretty. Um, all right, so I just dried it with my heat tool real quick, fairly quickly, and um, wanted to make sure it was good and dry because I did, um, I didn't really lift a lot of things off. Um, with foam tape, I just, uh, I used a lot of it just kind of straight up on the paper. Like I said, it has been months, maybe like, I don't know, honestly, maybe like March or April. So uh, seven months or eight months since I have done a scrapbook layout. And um, when we were moving and we had all our boxes, you know, kind of, I was packing up boxes and I was trying to do it while we were all in the same room and did a little bit at a time and we actually sort of moved and we got our house in the market and pared down a lot of stuff for that and then sold it and moved all in with like within a month um and it was the last month of school and it was just about the most hectic time i've ever had in fact fairly certain i have a lot more gray hairs and could probably use like I don't know, a little Botox, 
definitely a massage, um, a couple of margaritas, and uh, maybe a haircut. Um, so anyway, this uh, um, it was fun because we were going through these. As I was packing all these scrapbooks up, my kids were coming over and looking at them, and they have such a big time looking through all these pictures from when they were little and all the birthday pages and things that they, you know, that don't remember or barely remember or sort of remember from photographs. And it just really reminded me how important um, this was to me for so long to do for them and also how important it was for me to do for me. Um, and I, I really feel like I've got this gap of maybe like a, two, a year and a half or two years where I just, I barely documented very much at all. Um, and so I'm going to try to get back into that because I do really enjoy it. I do think it's important. And I don't want to quit just because they're teenagers now. Obviously, it'll be a completely different kind of um, scrapbooking. But, you know, still doing some things like this will be great. Um, so... That was a, I've got kind of everything laid out the way I think it's going to be now. And um, I grabbed a piece of, another piece of cardstock. I think it actually is ivory. But um, I'm going to adhere the this um, piece with the glacier paste on top of that background piece to kind of give it a little bit more stability and help smooth out some of the wrinkles. So here I'm going to add some um, foam tape to pop this up, pop up my photographs. And um, then I can tuck, it'll be easy to tuck everything underneath the sides of it like I had thought about doing. Um, this trip we uh, gave my mom for her 80th birthday, like I said, and um, it was sort of based on the movie Moonstruck, which we love. Um, if you haven't watched it, you should definitely do that. It's an old movie. It's with Cher and Nicolas Cage. And of course, my runner runs out glue runner. I, does that ever not not happen in the middle of a video? And then the second one runs out. And now I think I have to go dig for something else. But um, it, yep, came back and uh, here I've got the my ATG replaced. So I'm going to um, adhere that to it and really try to smooth it out from starting from one quarter to the next to get all of the wrinkles and the any warping from that. Uh, using that glacier paste out. Um, so we love this movie Moonstruck and it's, um, if you haven't seen it, you should see it. Uh, it's, and it's about Cher and Nicolas Cage and it's, it's a very old movie. Um, I mean, it's maybe 25 years old or more. Uh, I'm not sure, but, uh, it, they're in New York and, um, they go to the opera to see La Boheme. And, um, I, uh, just thought it would, my mom and I used to go on a trip every year for our birthdays. Um, well, we did for a little while because our birthdays are really close together. And then we didn't do it for a while because of the kids and all that kind of stuff. So, um, we thought this would be a fun, um, super fun, you know, memorable needed to be a big kind of year to celebrate, um, her turning 80 and um so we got I got tickets to the opera and I gave them to her um and I had mounted them on some of this gold um sorry this red satin cardstock that looked kind of like that um sort of like that wall covering that's where that like on the outside wall of the um right there in that photograph or kind of like, you know, like curtains or whatever. Um, it's really fun. So we had planned to go up there for, and it's actually the weekend of the New York Marathon, um, which ended up being really interesting. And just an, an extra 50,000 people or something in the city. It was nuts. Um, but the main idea was, or the, our main goal was to go to the opera the Saturday night. And so... Um, we went and had a wonderful dinner beforehand and then went to um, to the Met to see La Boheme. And um, it was a beautiful night. It wasn't that cold. Unfortunately, they hadn't started putting up Christmas decorations. But um, we uh, just 
had such a good time and definitely something that um, I'll remember and I'm sure she'll remember too. And um, one of those things that, that, you know, despite the money or the expense or trying to get sitters worked out and kids worked out and rides and everything with my husband to be able to take care of them, it just, um, it was so worth it and such a, um, such a wonderful memory. So definitely, um, deserves to be documented. Um, like I did say, and I don't, I don't think she watches my videos. So maybe we, um, maybe I'll get away with trying to do a little book or I might just do one of those, you know, photo books from like, um, Snapfish or, um, Mixbook or something like that with pictures from our trip. So I'm just going to keep working this, these, um, die cut embellishments in the side and try to layer them all together and figure out how I thought, how I think I'll like it. Um, and I used a lot of the little sort of selfie frames or whatever those are and a couple of the journaling spots to be able to write a couple things on. And it ended up covering up a lot of the glacier pace, which I liked because I didn't want it to be too, too cluttered down with that. I wanted it to be um, a little bit just very subtle in the background and give it a little bit of gold glow. So um, that's what I'm doing with that. And I am going to just keep layering those around until, um, until I get happy with it. Um, I think I'm going to play a little bit of music and then I'll come back and talk a little bit more at the end. <laughs> now I've changed to yet another typewriter. Um, it never fails. Okay, I'm going to um, let you listen to a little bit of music while I get that going and I will come back.
today. I have got um, just about everything finished up here. I'm going to um, add some little splatters and I think that's probably it. I um, did add a few little sort of list items about some of our favorite um, little moments and different things that I liked and just uh, the date and what we were doing there. And um, that's about it. Uh, you'll be able to see, I got a little carried away with the gold splatters there. Uh, you'll be able to see the close-ups here in a minute and then the um, final product. Thanks so much for stopping by and um, letting me share this fun layout after such a long time. I appreciate everybody's uh, support and comments and feedback would be great, especially if you like music or you rather have me talk, which is um, would be shocking. Um, but at any rate, I would love to hear from you and uh, interact with you. And I will um, be back hopefully with another uh, layout and or card very soon. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.